G'day ladies and gents. Just a quick bit I'm going to pop open this now that it's been here just over a week. It's been about, uh, I don't know, five or six days since I last popped it open. Last Tuesday, this is Sunday, so yeah. Um, so I'll pop it open and have a look. There was about, I don't know, a kilo worth of honey. They'd started to draw out some other comb, move some things around. So I'll have a look and see how they're going. There are other bees checking out that one there at the moment. Um, I'll put some lemongrass in it. I know that there is a swarm around here somewhere. Uh, or at least another hive. And the way that they were the other day here. They were checking out all of the front of my house, checking out crevices and etc. It wasn't these ones. These ones were coming in and out as they are right now. Um, I'd say the young are getting older because there's an awful lot of pollen coming in at the moment. I'll put this up here so that you can see better. golden colour there's a really white not quite as white then there's a golden and then there's a, a, uh, an orange so I'd say there's the four main ones. I know that the snow gums are on, and so are the peppercorns. Um, so they're the four main ones they're going into, although there are other gum trees and so forth that are starting to flower now. Good timing. Yep, those last two had that white and the off white they are good bees that's for sure they you know they go in they dump whatever they've got and they're straight back out again and the comb from that underground hive they're slowly picking all of the rocks away from it. Hopefully that'll be a lot more drawn out this time around. I'm actually going to double insulate this box over winter. I'll um, get another layer of thicker pine to go on the outside of this I think it's about 30 or 35 mil thick so I'll make a shell to go over the top of this little hive that way they've got a lot more insulation over winter because apparently this winter is going to be a bad one Just a little bit of pollen they're tracking in, they're getting in a fair bit. That's what I like to see. So, that's a nice colour. So, we shall pop the top and uh, have a look at it, I suppose. Um, oh, bee vacuum, before I do that, bee vacuum. I made up a bee vacuum, um, that way I can control the airflow and the amount of suction, depending if I'm using a narrow nozzle 
or a wide nozzle. I can actually get the vacuum right so that it's not just sucking the bees in and smashing them down the hose. Um, there's the hole to go to the vacuum. There's the one out. There's the screen, so that the vacuum comes up through the top of the screen nice and evenly over the whole box. It's not, you know, smashing them around in a little place with high winds. Once the, the air gets into this, then the vacuum is basically nil until it gets up to this hole, which the bees can't get to, so it's all good. And I've made this box up and put a router along it. That way the frames can sit in. Um, it's basically all the measurements are the same as a, a standard box. I just made it out of 20 mil pine. And if I wanted to, I could use this as a super, you know. I, I, I'd put the frames in here and have a heap of them. That way the bees have got something to cling to and they're not just all balled up in one spot, hopefully. And that makes it easier when you go to actually take this off to put it onto a beehive or transfer the frames into a box. Um, the bees are sticking to them just a lot easier than having to deal with a big ball. So, a um, bit of a seal. And that across there. A bit of a Shout out to 628 Dirt Rooster. I've been uh, binge watching a fair bit of his stuff lately. It's been a while since I've done bees, so I just thought I'd watch a few videos and see what other people around the world are doing. Um, geez, it's probably been close to 15 years since I last had a hive. Um, so, I've been catching up and I really like his stuff, so, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, mention him, he's pretty good. So again, 628 Dirt Rooster, he's an American bloke, um, definitely worth watching. Alrighty, now, I'll sit this up here. always the way, it was absolutely calm here earlier, not a breeze. do almost everything out here without gear on but for at least the first couple of times I'll take more notice on this this time around of how many are giving me headbutts and that'll decide whether I decide to use gear or not next time around like I say just about everything I do out here I don't have gear uh, the, the bee suit or the gloves or whatever on and I've not had a problem with these ones yet. 
uh, when I got them, I think there was only one or two stings in a glove, and that was when I was picking the balls up off the trees to get them into the box. So, well, here goes. I can definitely smell the honey. Gee whiz. Um, is that hard to Nothing on that one yet. That's all right. You can see the honey down in the bottom there. And some pollen. It's starting to really draw this out well. You can see it better from that angle. So that's going good. Got a fair bit of nectar and stuff in there. I like to see that. That was on that side. Oh. Now that's definitely got some weight in it now. Plus it was a little bit propolis. A little bit of honey in one side. Still very watery. One side lost some. Not much. Okay, now. now you can see the the honey in there. And I'll just put you down for a second so I can flip this frame. If it will focus, come on. Every other time it focuses, now it doesn't want to. There you go. All right, let's see if I can uncover some brood.
if it will focus. All right, I'm gonna put this down for a sec. I'm gonna take my glove off so that I can operate this camera. This is stupid. Okay, right in the middle there, or well, now in the middle, there is actually a little tiny grub down in it. Get them to move back up. You can see all of them anyway. All the little tiny eggs and the larvae. So they are going all right. So I shall put them back in. what I might even do no, it won't work I was going to push that comb down but so that it butted up against the other one. But when I heated it on there, I did it a bit too good. Okay. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, the there's definitely a good laying queen in there. She's doing her job really well. Good stuff. Um, hopefully she'll start to lay on more than that one little patch though. And uh, we should be right. Um, yeah, they're going on pretty good, I reckon. So, here we go on that anyway. Those guys are all dealt with, so I'll close that up and they can get back to doing their thing and making honey. Alrighty, ladies and gents, catch you later. Bye.